Hello everyone, it is your girl Linda Sims, the Who That Teacher from New Orleans, Louisiana. You already know what time it is. I already know you got your, your tennis shoes on and you're ready to move. Because every time you click on one of these instructionals, you know it's time to go to work, honey. But before we do, I want to give a shout out to each and everyone that leaves a comment. Blind Dance family, I cannot tell you how much that encourages me. I think the hardest part of videotaping is I'm standing in front of the camera, I'm talking to myself, <laughs> okay? But when you leave those comments and encourages me, I feel like I have a connection and I know who I'm teaching to. So thank you for your words of encouragement. I want you to know that I don't take it for granted. Each and every comment, I'm going to leave a comment. I'm going to talk back to you or give you a heart or something. So thank you so very kindly. I appreciate you. So um, so if you are someone you know is interested in cardio line dancing classes in the New Orleans area, please call 504-251-0674. Of course, at the end of this video, I'll pin the demo. So the name of this line dance is called Consequence. So I know you've seen this dance, you like, child, that's a lot going on. But it isn't. It isn't. So instructors, I'm going to teach you the line dance, but I'm going to also teach you how to teach your class because it's a high energy dance. So it really gets your heart rate up, okay? You be out of breath and stuff like that. So I'm gonna teach you how to approach this dance in order to prepare your dance, your class to do this whole line dance, okay? So this is the instructional, it's just two parts. You can do that, okay? But it's different rotation and it's controlling your breathing. So this will be a video in how to prepare your class to do the entire dance, okay? So it's gonna be very interesting. So, are you ready? Oh, let's go. So, we're gonna start on this wall right here. This wall right here, okay? So the first part is, there's only two parts. So there's two choreographers, okay? So this is, I feel, I don't know, I wasn't there, but I just feel it in my bones. This was the female part. I think her name is, Oh, yeah. Don't even ask me. Ne never mind. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to run it up. Right, left, heel. Okay? Right, left, heel. I need you to do that. Okay? So we run it up. Right, left, heel. Then we come back. Right, left, right, tap. Tap down on the left. Then we go out and out with a coaster step. So we bring it up. One and two, back three and four and five and six, seven and eight, seven and eight, okay? Now, let's put that together. We run it up, one and two, back on the right, three and four, tap right away. I need you to tap because it's going to prepare you to go out and out, coaster step, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. And one and two, back three and four and five and six, seven and eight. Okay? Now, a key to this is when you ever you do uh, a line dance and it's, it's fast, take smaller steps, okay? Take smaller steps. And then when you first start teaching, teach at a slower pace so they can get the step. Five, six, seven, and one and two, back three and four, tap five and six, seven and eight. Okay, now we're gonna make a three quarter turn. Left, right, left. Last step is on your left. Turn back with your right shoulder, three quarters turn, and make a triple step. Right, left, right, and then keep going up. Left, right, left, okay? So on that part there, we just made two triple steps. Right, left, right, left, right, left, turning back in three quarter. Right, left, right, left, right, left, and keep moving it forward, okay? So I don't want you to go right, left, right, left, right, left. No, it moves forward, just like we did the first part. We moved forward on the first part, we came back, we did out and out, 
Coaster step, coaster step. Right, left, right, keep moving. Left, right, left, okay? This part here is twist and lift, coaster step. Or, for me, uh, 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 and I'm gonna teach you how to choreograph it. Do a, a fan, out and up. So the fan, heel fans out. Out and up, coaster step. There's a slight pause in that. Out and up, hold coaster step. Okay, so let's put it together. Five, six, seven, run it up. Right, left, right, back, left, right, left, back, out and out, coaster step. Turn, right, left, right, up, left, right, left, twist and lift, coaster step. Okay? That's it. To end this part, you're going to do a crossing kick. Just want you to look at this. And you're gonna do it twice. Watch this. Right over left, left over right. Cross and kick, pivot, and then kick, kick. Then you do it again. Cross and kick, cross and kick, cross and kick, step pivot, quarter left, and kick, kick. Okay? So one and two, three and four, pivot five, six. So you pivot on the right and a quarter turn to your left. And you end with a kick, kick. And you start it over again with a cross and kick, right over left, left over right, then step, pivot, quarter, and then kick right, left. That's it. That's part one. We're done. That's all of part one. And what happens is we're at this wall and we're going to do it again. Okay? So the first rotation, you do part one twice. Okay? Now let's put it all together. Five, six, seven, run it up. Right, left, right, right, left, right. Tap out and out, left, right, left. Turn, right, left, right, left, right, left. Twist and lift, coaster, step, cross. Cross and kick, cross and kick, pivot, kick right, left. Cross and kick, cross and kick, pivot, kick, kick. Kick, kick. So you remember, you're making a quarter turn to your left with the right shoulder going forward, okay? Let's put it to a number. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. And five and six, seven and eight. Turn one and two, three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. Cross one and two, three and four. Pivot five, six, kick seven, eight. Cross one and two, three and four, pivot five, six, seven, eight. So let me let me uh, tell you something about this step here. I do cheat a little bit, okay? So when I uh, do this uh, triple step, right, left, right, left, right, left, fan up, coaster, I do add a little kick, okay? Seems like it's, it's a, a easier transition for me. The choreography is Fan, coaster, and then step, and start your crossing kick. But to me, I add a little kick on the left because it's an easier transition into the crossing kick. So just, you can do it, I, you choose the way you do it, okay? So, for the record, you do a heel fan, coaster, step, and then start your crossing kick. What I do is just do a little kick at the end to make that transition, okay? So just for the record, I always want to make sure I teach it the way that it was choreographed, okay? Now, so let's do it again. So on this part, instructors, before you go on to part two, you want to make sure that your people know this part like the back of their hand, okay? So once I've taught, I taught my class this part here, and I kept doing it over and over again, okay? At each walk, just over and over. I said, do it again and do it again and do it again, okay? So here we go. So each time, we started doing it slow. And then as we continued doing it, we kept on put, picking up the tempo, okay? So they're doing two things. They're learning the steps and also they're picking up the tempo because we didn't start at the right tempo because I was trying to teach them the step, okay? All right, let's do it again. Five, six, seven, and one and two, three and four. Tap five and six, seven and eight. Turn one and two. Up three and four. Twist five and six. Hold seven, kick eight. Cross one and two, three and four. Pivot five, six, kick 
seven and eight. Cross one and two and three and four. Pivot five, six, skip seven and eight. Okay, from here, I said, let's do it again. Same step. Up on the right. Five, six, seven, eight. Up one and two. Back three and four. Tap five and six. Close to seven and eight. Three quarters. One and two. Three and four. Twist five and six. Seven and eight. Cross one and two. Three and four. Pivot five, six, six, seven and eight. Cross one and two. Three and four. Pivot five, six, seven, eight. Now, the second time you do this, seven, eight, seven, eight, kick, kick. We got to make a transition to get to part two. So you pivot quarter and pivot quarter. Now, I believe part two is Chris Blue. Chris Blue's always going to do diagonal. Most of his choreography is diagonal, okay? So when you're setting up after doing part one twice, okay, you use seven, eight for the transition to set up for part two. Part two starts diagonal. It's not to the wall to your right. It's not the wall in front of you. It's diagonal, okay? So when I did a cross and kick, one and two, three and four, pivot five, six, kick, seven and eight, cross one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So I set myself up like that. So that's the second time. The second time you do part, part two, part one, I'm sorry. The second time you do part one, you set yourself up to transition. When they do the pivot, pivot a, a quarter, quarter, and set it up diagonal to go into part two. So let's go back to the top so you can see what I'm talking about, okay? Because I know I'm doing a lot of talking, kind of confusing you, okay? So we're doing part one twice. Five, six, seven, eight. Up one and two. Back three and four. And five and six, seven and eight. Three quarters, one and two. Up three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. Cross one and two, three and four. Pivot five. Six, kick, seven, and eight, cross one and two, three and four, pivot five, six, cross seven and eight. Again, one and two, back three and four, tap five and six, seven and eight, three quarter, one and two, three and four, five and lift and seven and eight, cross one and two, three and four, pivot five, six, seven and eight, cross one and two, three, transition, five, six, seven, eight, right here. Okay? Now, we're ready to go into part two. So let me just make a note on part one. Part one, remember, when you go up, come back, tap, immediately, tap, tap, okay? Don't forget about that, all right? To set up for that. Make sure they do that tap on the left when they come back. Also, when you do your heel fan, heel fan up, it's a slight pause, close to the step, or I do a little kick, okay? So this heel fan lift, it's a pause, okay? It's a pause there. Okay, let me set you up for part two. So part one, I will not go on until they know it like the back of their hand. And each time you do it, keep picking up the pace, keep picking up the pace, keep picking up the pace, Play the music, okay? Make sure they got it like the back of the hand. And instructors, look at your people. Don't say y'all don't say y'all good, because they're gonna say yes. When they say y'all good, okay, show me. So stand on the side and, 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 and count it off. Five, six, seven, eight. Up one and two, back three and four, out five and six, seven and eight. Turn one and two, three and four, twist five and six, seven and eight, cross one and two. Three and four, pivot five, six, six, seven, and eight, cross one and two, three and four, five, six, do it again. Take it up. That's how you do it, okay? Count it out to them or call it out or whatever and see what they're doing, okay? And if they're having a problem, practice that or make that correction before you go on to part two. All right, here we go. So, 
For the record, on part one, you start slow. Slow with the footwork, make sure they know it, and then keep on doing it and picking up the tempo. So when you do that, instructors, they're going to be out of breath. So don't let them do it two times. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it because you're building their endurance up. They're like, now nah, we're tired. I'm like, let's keep going. Let's keep going, okay? So that's preparing them for the, to do the entire dance, okay? All right, now we go here. So we just made that pivot turn. Five, six, seven, eight. So part two is up and back, kick and cross, step, step, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, so then we work this side, then we came up to this part. Up, one, back, two, kick, three, and four, step, five, back, six, cross, seven, and eight, which is a shuffle, shuffle. Mm, I don't think I want to teach from this wall, y'all. So, Let's, let's change our wall. Okay? It's just changing our wall so you can see the footwork. Okay? So, diagonal. One and two. So, the right go up and back. Right kick and cross. Step, back, cross and cross. That's the first eight count. One and two. Kick three and four. Step five, six, cross, seven and eight. Again. Up one, back two, kick three, cross four, step five, back six, shuffle seven and eight. You're shuffling to the front. Okay, look at my left heel up. One, back two, and three, and four. What did I do? I did step, push back, step, cross, step. Seven and eight. One. Two and three and four. You're holding on and. One, two, three and four. One and. One, two and three and four. Okay, that's your next step. So I just shuffle, shuffle. Out on the left, push back. On the left, half turn and step, cross, step. That's important. Cross step. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Push back. Left. Cross step with the right coming forward. And the last step is going to be your left. So you step forward, tick, and kick. Right, left, right. What did I do? Step on the right, tick, and kick. Right, left, right. One and two and three and four. What did I do? I just did turn back, cross, step. I'm sorry. Back, left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left step is on my left. I step forward on my right. One and two and three and four. So I step on forward on my right. Step, tick. Down, kick, right, left, right. Step, tick, down, kick, right, left, right. Again, step, tick, down, kick, right, left, right. Okay, let's put that together. So, a review. One and two, kick, three and four, step, five, six, Shuffle seven and eight. It's one turn, two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Last step is on my right. Okay? So let's do that. Five, six, seven, eight. Up and back. One and two, kick three and four. Step five, six, cross seven and eight. Make sure you. Step here, turn back two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Okay, last step was on my right. Then I come back, one, two. My last step was on my right, I come back, one, two. I'm gonna shuffle across, three and four. Step out and push back, five, six, seven and eight. So it's almost the same thing. Back left. Left, 
right cross, cross and cross, push on your right step back half, step, cross, step. And it's, it's, it's like a step or a tap because you're going to end up one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Each one is a quarter turn. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight. You're not going back to the front. You're going to do it twice. So you use that diagonal again. Up one, back two, kick three, step four, five, six, shuffle, seven and eight. I'll turn back one, two, left, three, cross, four, step, five and six, kick seven and eight. Back left, one, two, shuffle cross, three and four, push it back, six, seven and tap eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. On one, step into that diagonal. Because when I did this, I was here at this wall. Because I did it at each wall. This here is a quarter turn at each wall. So when I start over, I'm going to step diagonal, one and two. Step into it. Okay? So that's all the parts, just two parts. So what you do is teach part two and put, teach it at tempo and put it together with one and two. All right, so from here, from here, and I'll talk about the rotations, okay? So from here, uh, let's, let's put it together. Run it up on the right. Five, six, I'm going to do the first, I'm going to do it slow because I know I'm starting at a different wall, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Tap five and six, seven and eight. Three quarters. One and two, left, three and four, five and six, cross, seven and eight. Cross, one and two, three and four, pivot, five, six, kick, seven and eight. Cross again, one and two, three and four, pivot, five, six, kick, seven, take it up. One and two, back, three and four, tap, five and six, close to seven, three quarters. One and two, left, three and four, twist, five, cross, six. Seven and eight, cross one and two, three and four, pivot five, six, kick seven and eight, cross one and two, three, transition five, six, seven, eight, part two, one and two, kick three and four, step five, back six, shuffle seven and eight, half one, two and three and four, right five and six and seven and eight, left one, two, shuffle three and four, turn five. Six, cross, seven, tap, eight is one and two, three and four, five and six. Do it again. Diagonal, one and two, kick, three and four, step, five, six, cross, seven and eight. Out, one, turn, two, step, three, cross, four, step, five and six. Up, seven and eight. Left, one, two, shuffle, three and four. Back, five, six, cross, seven, tap, eight is one and two, three and four, and five and six. Seven and eight. Woo! Yes? Now, so that's what you practice. You practice. You slow. You do it slow. Do it slow. And each time, just pick up the tempo. Pick up the tempo. Now, so let me give you the rotation. So when you start off, you do part one twice. Then you do part two, which is diagonal twice. When you finish that one and two, three and four, you gotta come back to the front because you're gonna do part one twice. Okay, you're still gonna hear those drums. Okay, when you do fit part one twice, you gotta get set up for part two, diagonal, one and two, and you're gonna only do that one time, okay? Then when you finish, come back and do part one. Part one only gonna allow you to do it one time so you can catch your breath. Okay, when you come back to the front and do part one, you only do it one time. Do that transition to come into that diagonal to make, do part two. Part two, go all out, you're gonna do it two times. Two times, part two. 
And then after that second time on part two, you come back to the front, the music dropped down, and you done did the, you, you done did the damn thing. You done did the dirty deed. And it ends on part, doing part one, okay? So, again, part one you do twice. Part two you do twice. Part one you do twice. Part two you do once. Wait, wait. Yeah, part one you do once, and then part two you do twice, and it ends doing part one, okay? So when you watch the demo, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is special music. If you need the music, you know how to contact me, right? At L-M-I-U-N-O-L-A at Gmail for the music. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. But work on the steps first. Work on the step and work on the tempo. Picking that tempo up. You guys got to, your people have to know the steps in order to keep up with the tempo, okay? And that comes with just practice, practice, practice. And remember your transitions to get into part, from part one to part two, okay? Um, and I think that's it. That's it. Of course, at the end, you'll see the demo. You do the demo. It is a great workout. I love when my heart rate gets up, okay? Because if, if your heart is a muscle, you just work in the muscle, your heart. So, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I, I know I do a lot of talking, but sometimes instructors, you, you don't understand the process to get your people there. They're not going to just arrive. you got to get them there. So, I want you to know, like, you're like, girl, y'all can do any kind of dance. It's a process. It don't come like that, Okay. We build ourselves up, okay? Start slow, teach them the steps. So I start slow and pick up that tempo so they can get the endurance, okay? And that's it. That's consequence. My name is Linda Sims. I am the Who That Teacher from New Orleans, Louisiana. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.